I was gonna make a gaming video, but nobody watches those anyway, and I was placed up against a opponent that was lagging like crazy. So I just wanted to make a video talking about how YouTube is magical. Some of you guys may not know this, but if you have a really good setup like I do, where I have a streaming setup, which means I just open OBS, I turn on my, you know, mirrorless camera, and hit record, I hit stop, and I'm done. I don't have to edit my videos, I don't have to put much effort into my videos. If my video is 10 minutes long, Odds are it took me 10 minutes to make the video with no planning, with no anything. It's basically a streamer setup, you know, and I love it. 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 So many people like, you know, try to make YouTube videos and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't get any views. They don't get any views at all. You know, I know plenty of channels that I watch occasionally that get well below a thousand views per video. And their videos have very good image quality, very good audio quality, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So it can suck, it can suck to make videos. See, I remember before YouTube existed, if you wanted to make a video, it had to mean something. You couldn't just make a thousand vlog videos not saying anything at all. You know, if you wanted to use that kind of bandwidth, especially even 1080p 60fps, that was considered a, a, a lot back in the day. And you had to use software and hardware that would go out of sync. It would go out of sync. It would have like compression issues like I mean they still have compression issues it's still kind of kind of grainy kind of grainy when I upload it to YouTube but still you know it's just like it's just like wow these days you can do it for free you don't have to pay for hosting you don't have to like worry about you know all this stuff and um you know, you can actually earn a little bit of revenue, and you can express yourself and have fun. Wow. You can express yourself and have fun. Wow. How many of you guys love YouTube? How many of you guys love it? Again, um, I do have a fairly expensive setup. I, I know of so many YouTube channels where they do a ton of editing. They have, like, several cameras that cost five times more than my camera. You know, they have tons of redundant equipment. I pretty much got the bare bones basic uh, camera that you can get that looks really good, which is the Sony A6400. You can see it in the description down below of the equipment I use. But, you know, then I have these thousand plus dollar microphones. Yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah boy. The camera was like 1,200, 300 if you count the lens. The lens, you have to get a wide aperture Sigma lens for low light indoor recording. And for superior autofocus. Because the lens that comes with the camera is terrible. So you need to buy a Sigma wide aperture lens. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah boys, yeah boys, yeah boys. I've been really enjoying making videos with this setup for the past couple of years, definitely. I really love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've owned so many microphones that, you know, sounded tonality-wise all screwed up. Or like, you know, they weren't sensitive enough. So lately, I still want to get a Electro Voice RE20 dynamic broadcasting microphone. I've owned one. They sound bland. They sound a bit colored in the mid-range. They have a audible preamp hiss because they're not very sensitive. They sound kind of stuffy and nasally and low detailed. You know, there's a reason why I spent a thousand plus dollars on each one of these microphones. Because they're the best microphones I've ever found. But, 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 I can't help but window shop and put things in my shopping. I, I bought an SM7B, a Shure SM7B, and I used it on this channel.
channel. It was very tastely. There was a lot of preamp hiss. It just, you know, it has its benefits, but like, you know, there's no way in hell I would use it um, for enjoyability, intelligibility over the Neumann DL 103s that I'm using right now. Especially for ASMR, where you're whispering. I had to project my voice for a dynamic of my friend to pick me up without having to boost the gain way, way too much. So yeah, YouTube is magical. YouTube is fun. I just did the cable. I need to stop doing that. But like, um, again, I make a lot of the gaming videos uh, members only because they don't get that many views. Um, if I play Fortnite, it does get a fair amount of views, but like Fortnite is stupid. I was seriously thinking about getting a PlayStation 5 again. And I know several people who bought a PlayStation 5 and they actually sold it. They actually sold the PlayStation 5. You know, they're coming out with a new Final Fantasy. They're coming out with like, you know, a mecha game. They're coming out with some, some games. But again, I don't care about those games. I just like the idea of those games. I like the idea of buying a gaming console and doing all my gaming on that. And then having like a generic computer. Because when you buy a gaming computer, like if you want the best graphics card, you want the best processor, you have to deal with like tons of overheating and stuff like that. Bottlenecking, it's really bad. You can have like the best up-to-date RAM, a ton of RAM. The next thing you know, like, your case doesn't get enough ventilation. You have these big cooling fans. It just gets ridiculous. You're spending, like, $3,000, $5,000 just so you can play Fortnite in 4K. Well, guess what? A lot of people's cell phones can play video games just fine. And it's in a little compact device. How many of you guys own, like, an iPad or an iPhone? You know, you can play a lot of games on that, a lot of gotcha games. Why don't you just play games on that, you know? These video games, man, video games aren't what they used to be. Making videos before YouTube, like, a lot of people made, like, something called Flash animations. Or 3D animations. And they would spend months of their life making these little animated shorts. You know? These days, you can make like 10 videos a day without any effort. So it's all about the algorithm and stuff. You have to work smarter, not harder. I work harder than I do smarter. Believe it. Believe it. I tell you, I'm telling you guys. But I still think YouTube is magical. YouTube is amazing. Like, I mean, I've gone through so many phases of like watching so many different documentaries and interesting videos, listening to music, you know, just growing through all of this stuff. And I gotta say, the number one thing to avoid is do not join communities, do not join rabbit holes, do not go down a bunch of rabbit holes or conspiracies. Yeah, boy, you don't want to do that. Yeah, boy. Uh-uh. That's the bad stuff. You want to have a good time. You want to have a good time. Like, one channel where the girl is using an RE20, I already talked about this, she plays a lot of um, uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't have Grand Theft Auto. I've never played it before. But she streams a lot. She's streaming right now. And, you know, she's interacting with all these people and stuff. And I'm just like, wow. Wow. You know, if I didn't have a full-time job, which is a rather recent event, you know, maybe I would consider it. Actually, no, I wouldn't, but whatever. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. But yeah. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. YouTube is magical. Leave in the comment section down below, do you think YouTube is magical? Yeah, boys, I think it is. So many people start up all these different hobbies where they collect 